Now, Nelson, some people, when they see the power of IBC and they get really excited and they want to go explain it to others and they'll say things along the lines of, look at, look at, if you become your own banker, don't you understand? You're just, let's like say you got to buy a new car, you're borrowing it from yourself. And so effectively the car is free because you're just, when you pay yourself back, you're just paying it to yourself. So you get a car for free. Who wouldn't want to do that? It's a no brainer. How do you feel about that way of getting the message across to the public? It's very shallow thinking, Bob. It reminds me of this. Uh, you've been to big banquets, haven't you? Sure. All right. Uh, before the uh, banquet starts, there's an ante room there, and maybe a drink or two, maybe a little uh, knickknacks of things, of whatever. Uh, I equate what you just described there is people uh, gorging themselves uh, with the knickknacks and so forth, and there's a banquet room out there that you wouldn't believe. Please think deeper, I tell these people. This is a comprehensive thing here that is enormous, but you got to change the way you think. Uh, don't settle for penny and his stuff. Uh, don't think that that's the be-all, end-all. Uh, why all this fascination with the word free? Uh, that's marketing uh, compounded, that idea of something free. Well, uh, there ain't no such thing as free lunch, they say, right? <laughs> it's true. <sighs> so I avoid that with a, like it's a play because it is. That sort of language, yeah. the word free. Yeah, free. Yeah.